Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at how we can add an option for the link and image dialog uh, to allow us to link to our internal pages uh, from within the CK editor uh, with Wix. Uh, let me just quickly show you what it's going to look like. If I select a bit of text within the, uh, within the, the editor's window, click on the link button, you can see now we can see the pages, internal pages of our system. So I can link to the home page, to products page or any other. If I now click OK. The same applies to the uh, image. If I double click on the image and go to the link tab, you can see the same menu is here. So I can link the image as well to the internal page. So that's what we're going to be uh, building here, basically adding to ex extending the, the CK editor. Uh, dialog window. Uh, we're going to be using the CK Editor dialog class uh, and its select definition, um, select element. Basically, here's what it looks like. Basically, here are the options we can use. We can use a bit more if we scroll down. Basically, what we're going to be taking advantage of here is going to be the onload method, which allows us to basically um, create this drop down menu, uh, pre populate it with the records from either database. In this exercise, we simply use the JSON file, but obviously when you're going to be working on your own system, you most probably going to be using a database, fetching records from a database and so on. All this is going to be explained in this uh, course. Uh, first of all, obviously you need to download the, the CK editor, uh, download whichever version you've got, you've got to use basically. I'm just using the standard one. If I scroll down to the bottom, I'm using the source, which is big and slow apparently. Uh, but I'm using this uh, purely because it's going to be easier to show you the code. Uh, otherwise, optimized version, obviously, everything is minified. So we would be struggling actually with the lines and everything. But obviously, you can use the optimized version as well. Uh, obviously, make sure that you know where you're putting all this code we're going to be creating here. Inside of uh, the root of your project, obviously, create index.html. I presume you already have Wizwick uh, installed in your uh, in your project. For those who are just trying with me, basically, how it's going to work, just create the standard uh, HTML document. Uh, make sure that you've got a form, some text area with the ID of editor or whatever else you want to refer to later on. Make sure that you've got jQuery as well, because we're going to be using some jQuery here. And uh, obviously, we're going to be linking to the to the CK editor, which is inside of the CK editor folder. And then we've got CK editor dot JS. Then we just need to instantiate it, obviously, to make sure that we uh, that it's converting this text area into the WYSIWYG. Uh, so we've got CK editor dot replace uh, and then the ID we've used for the element. Uh, that's just in, in between the opening and closing script tag, obviously. If you are having this, um, if you are having your file where you're actually instantiating this from inside of the JS folder or any other folder, obviously use it this way. This is just a very quick um, integration, as you can see here, very simple. But you can use it in any other way you want, because the the main thing here is going to be the two plugins we're going to be actually uh, amending. Uh, if we open our CK editor folder and go to the config file first, what we're going to start here with is. Uh, if you obviously have, you may have completely different config file again. The important bit is we need to add a few things. So if you create a few lines here, the first thing I want to do is to make sure that the height of the WYSIWYG is, uh, I don't know, let's say 300 pixels so we can see a little bit more content than just a very narrow window. So config dot height, and that is going to be 300 for 300 pixels. You don't have to do it if you've got it already set up. As, as I'm saying, this is just for now, the important thing will be the, the following line, which is config dot internal pages. We create in the new property and we're going to use the uh, jQuery get JSON and we call the page, which will get us the JSON response with uh, the list of our pages. And for this exercise, as I said, I'm going to simply use the uh, static JSON file. So pages.json. We're going to create this file in just a moment. Now, in order to make sure that our browse, browse uh, button is shown as well in the, in the dialog, you don't have to do it, obviously, if you don't use uh, br any browser for files or images. I'm just going to create variable image browser 
equals and it's just a forward slash obviously that's not the working one uh, the, that's not the working path of the uh or the, of the file browser but just to show the button so you know what the layout of the uh, of the whole dialog is going to look like so config dot file browser browse url equals image browser and if i copy this entire line and paste it twice underneath the second line uh, will be upload url and then we have uh, image browse url url <laughs> image browse url and then we have image upload url so file browser image upload load url the same thing and that's technically everything that we need to do inside of the config file uh, now as i said earlier this is the path which was which is going to give us the list of our pages in a format which we'll just uh, uh, see in a moment but make sure that if you are using say uh, php asp.net or any other server uh, language make sure that you're pointing to the URL which is going to give you the list of the pages because this is where all this this is the this is this is going to give us the records which will pre-populate this drop down menu later on. Uh, so if we close our CK editor for now we can close this config file as well. And inside of the root of our project, let's create this JSON file, which will be pages.json. And if we now open this, we start with the array, and inside of this array, the first item will be uh, double quotes remember the double quotes they can't be single because we're dealing with the JSON here so it's label and for the label we're going to have home page then comma and URL will be uh, again between a double quotes just a forward slash then comma we go for label will be about us and then URL will be forward slash about next item let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it a few times services products and contact us so label services and you are be services products products and then contact us which is just contact and we can remove this last comma because it's uh, the last item in this array so we can now save this file so remember if you are uh, returning these values from uh, your server uh, then make sure that obviously this is the format you're going to be returning when you're doing json and code make sure that this is the array with uh, all items associated we've got a label then value url then value and obviously each item has to follow the same structure so this is our uh, uh, pages Th these are our records for the pages we can also close this index.html if we now go to the ck editor plugins link plugin open dialogs and link.js let's search for browse server which is the one here there we go so this is the block we are interested in let's create a few new lines before and after and before this type button block let's create a new block and we're going to start with type it's going to be h box which is going to be this horizontal box with two separate boxes next to each other and now width for these boxes what i want to have is in array first one will be 30 percent and the other will be 70 percent after this uh, we go for children and children will be in array first one will be this button so we cut it and paste it inside of this array remember obviously after this block we need to put comma again because there are more items there and after this button uh, let me just close this find here so it doesn't highlight it uh, comma as well and we're going to start with another item which is going to be our drop down menu the id of this menu will be internal page then we're going to go for the type which will be select label will be blank nothing there and then we go for items to start with we're going to have an empty array and then on load 
we are going to execute the function. If I scroll up, let me close the browser here. So on load, what I'm going to do first, I'm going is I'm going to create a, an object. So var element ID equals hash symbol for the ID, and then this get dot get input element dot uh, dollar sign and its ID. So basically, this element which we are creating, uh, which is this internal page, uh, obviously the ID is appended after this. We get in this element by get this input, get input element, and then appending obviously the ID of this element. Uh, so this is our element. Now we go for each jQuery method, editor config dot internal pages, which is, as you may remember, inside of the config file, which cre we created this internal pages, which is basically fetching all the records, and then response uh, JSON. So we've got this JSON uh, records here, then function, index, and data. Create a few new lines, semicolon at the end. And now what we're going for is the element ID dot get the first one, so the only one which is going to be there, obviously zero because indexes uh, of the array start at zero. Then options inside of this element, and then uh, because it's an array, we need to provide the index. So again, I'm just going to copy what I've just typed in here. So it's the element ID get zero options and then length. Now, as you we know, array start from zero. So if we've got four elements, the index of the last fourth element will be three, but the length of these elements will be four because they are actually total of four elements. So the next element we are creating here, the next option we are adding here is at index, whichever the last item is basically. So equals, and that's going to be new option we are adding. And this option will have data.label and then decode URI component data.url, both of which are obviously part of this JSON response which we've created, the file which we've created, obviously this array. Okay, so this is our onload that creates the drop down menu. Now, comma after this, and uh, the next method will be on change. So whenever someone selects something from this drop down menu, we're going to execute the function. And inside of this function, we are going to create a variable dialog which will be this get dialog instance. And if we scroll up a little bit, and now dialog dot get content element, the content of this uh, dialog window, info, which is inside of the info and it's uh, URL. So for this URL field, we want to set its value to whatever value has been selected. So this get value and then brackets, obviously, semicolon after this. Now, if we save this file, go to our browser. If we refresh it, select a bit of a content here. Let's click on the link. You can see our dropdown has been added. But there's one problem with all this. Obviously, it's when we select, it's um, changing the URL uh, value, which is fine. The only problem with this is when we first loaded this, let me just cancel that and do it again. If I click on the link, you can see homepage is selected, but there's no URL. So what we should perhaps have here is select the internal page or something like this. So let's cancel this, go back to our editor and open our pages.json file. And right at the beginning, I'm just going to copy this home record, create the new record uh, and give it uh, a label of select internal page and the value that you for the URL will be blank. So if we save this, go to our browser, refresh the page again, select some content, create the link. You can see select internal page, URL is blank as it should be. We select home page. It gives us the forward slash for the home page, select internal page, and that obviously goes blank. So that's all fine. If we now uh, okay it, next thing is to create add the same thing for the uh, image dialog if we create want to add new image or edit the existing one. First thing we're going to be doing in this dialog is to move this button to the left. I want the same arrangement. So browse server button will be on the left 
and then we're going to have our drop down menu so just to uh, show you what we're going to be actually doing with this dialog we cancel go back to our editor and let's scroll up and uh, now that we are done with our link but we're going to keep this file open because technically the second part this internal page is going to be pretty much the same in uh, the image dialog so we go to the dialogs image dialogs and image.js now we are going to be looking for a single quote a link and single quote not the first one if we search for the next one there we go this is the block we are looking for we've got these elements here text url is the first one and then we have button uh, with a float to the right so if i just indent it as you can see again we create a few new lines uh, the next line will be cmb target and before this we have whatever is there basically so pretty much the same way as before we are going to create a new block make sure there's obviously comma after this one and again the type will be horizontal box so h box then we're gonna have widths which will be again in array first one is 30 percent second one will be 70 percent then comma and we have children and another array inside of this one first thing will be this block which we've just had here by default this button so we cut this one paste it uh, one thing we're going to be removing because oh actually i've forgotten to copy the, the entire block after hidden false we've got this label editor uh, we need to remove the star float right because this is uh, forcing this button to go to the right we don't want this we want the button go to uh, to the left but as default alignment uh, so we can remove this line and now our button is all okay now if we go back to our links and copy the entire block with this internal page so i'm just going to collapse the whole thing copy that and paste it after the comma here there we go i'm just going to close close the browser here on the left so we can see things a little bit better now everything stays the same except for one thing if we go to our own change uh, method now the get content element this time rather than info will be a link because it's under link tab and then the field uh, name this time the url field name is txt capital u r l and that's everything that's technically uh, uh, everything inside of this image.js uh, file so if we now save it and open our browser let's refresh the page make sure that the uh, cache is cleared if you have to so clear cache there we go let's refresh it again if i now double click on the image to go to open the image properties window as you can see if i go to the link the browse server button is now on the left and our menu with the internal pages is on the right obviously whenever i select something that changes the url field so obviously if i want to link to services if i okay it if we go to the uh, source now you can see that our image tag is wrapped with the uh, uh, with the link which is linking to the services obviously the same thing if i select content and create a normal link as well linking to let's say contact us okay go to source you can see that that's linking to the contact us now so that's everything in this course if you have any questions uh, please use our designated uh, comment section i hope you enjoy this and i'll speak to you in the next series